Hi everyone. Today I am going to discuss about important concepts on ray optics and optical instruments and as well as wave optics. If you prepare these two chapters completely then you will get 18 marks in your second PUC annual exam. Before that those who are watching my videos first time do like and subscribe for more updates and do share the videos with your friends. First of all I will go through the ray optics and optical instruments. This chapter belongs to 11 hours and 11 mark. This 11 mark has distributed in several sections. First one MCQ one question which carries one mark and essay type one question which carries two mark and one more essay type short answer type question which carries three mark and one numerical problem from this chapter which carries five mark totally 11 mark from this chapter the important concepts are first one focal length of spherical mirrors next one the mirror equation next one refraction and next one total internal reflection next one refraction at spherical surfaces next sixth one refraction by a lens seventh one combination of two thin lenses in contact next one power of a lens then refraction through a prism next one optical instruments okay in optical instruments there are two instruments are there first one the microscope next one telescope these are the main concepts in a ray optics we have to concentrate on these concepts to get 11 mark from this chapter then I will go through the another chapter wave optics okay here from this chapter allotted hours is 8 hours and allotted mark is 7 mark this 7 mark is distributed in several sections first one MCQ type question one question is there which carries one mark and fill in the blank type question which carries one mark and LA long answer there to ST ST means split type this 5 mark has split it into 2 plus 3 or 3 plus 2 or 1 plus 4 like that the 5 mark has distributed in a different marks totally 7 mark from this chapter now the important concepts are Heisen's principle okay. Heisen's wave theory okay. next one refraction and reflection of plane waves refraction and reflection of plane waves next one coherent and non coherent sources next one Young's double slit experiment this is a important concept in this chapter you may get five mark type question on this concept next one diffraction at single slit next polarization okay. these all are the important concepts from this chapter okay thank you